training your subconscious mind. And of course, the subconscious is where it starts at. And of course, the conscious is where everything gets deprived at, down into density. Now, training your mind is highly important. You got to train it like a dog. You got to train it like a bitch. And of course, if you're not training your mind in a way how it's supposed to formulate, you're going to be basically psyching and subconsciously programming your mind to bullshit. Shit that you're basically repeating when you're in your awake life. Now, having the subconscious mind to be trained into the perspective is a constant pattern, a routine. And of course, you have to come up with a routine, a pattern that you're going to basically orchestrate throughout the 23 hours of the day. Now, whatever you're doing within them 23 hours, whether you're busy doing something else or whether you're pretty much inconvenient with a different perspective or different route, this puts you into the place of using what you're doing as a tool to basically get you from point A to point B throughout your day. Because remember, whatever you're feeding your mind is basically what you're feeding your child. So if you're if you best breastfeeding your child, your child is going to get all the right substances, all the right genres, all the right natural ingredients. Now, if you're feeling, feeding your child external milk, which means your child is being fed by another titty and not your titty, this makes it a uh, difference, a uh, neglect, a neglect, a.k.a. your child is basically drinking a different blood, a different stream. Now, you as a parent, the individual, this is playing out on all levels. Whether you're feeding your child, whether you're putting a titty in, in your child's mouth, or whether you you utilizing your ideas and, of course, the way you feel about perspectives and pursuits to make sure that these things is being pushed out into the right charts, the right angles, the right frames. And, of course, it's all about shaping things up. So you got to have the right space, the clear, the clear space as much as possible to get your subconscious flowing and growing. Because, of course, it's a whole lot of shit that may have put you off task or distracted you throughout your day. But if you're strong enough to maintain that mentality that you're basically trying to shop and create and, of course, shape up, then these things is going to shape up for you. But 10 times out of 10, we always get taken off task by distractions or external bullshit. You're supposed to use everything like a bitch. So even if you are getting taken off task, use that moment, that time, and, of course, that reference as your bitch. Because... These things will happen. Just know that once you're move, once you're moving upon certain levels and certain schemes and certain genres and certain chapters, you're gonna always get hit with some form of a block or a rock to basically see how much you can basically handle. Despite you basically going through this little different current state of awareness, see your awareness is highly important, and you have to be aware of things on all levels. And it's a percentage level. It's all about having the equilibrium and the balance scales on being aware of certain things and just having a clear mind to be more aware. Because if you have a lot of shit on your mind, 10 times out of 10, this brings too much density, which means that this is too much weight. And when things is too much weight, you get outweighed mentally. And when you're outweighed mentally, that means you have a whole lot of baggage within your mentality your mind that means the plants the seeds which is your mind is like a plant it's like a garden and of course if you got the adam and eve in that motherfucking garden and you're not basically doing the detox mentally this is going to put you into a mental battle which means that you're going to be battling certain baggages certain parasite and certain dirt <clears throat> that you're going to have to basically fight out your mentalities and look at it like this you're always going to see a fly spiraling flying all around being curious about everything. That's all that dirt that's being curious and of course crystallizing and shaping around you like it's a it's like it's a um stripper pole. So you don't want no you don't want no negative ideas in your minds having a strip club in your mind, feel me? A strip club but things get a little out of control. Things get a little bit wild and shit. If you don't know how to control that pole, that means you gotta stop flourishing money that way. If you stop putting money on that goddamn pole, that pole is gonna be stable. 
that pole is going to be um, not in service anymore. Now, if you got that pole in control, that means your pole, that stick, that's a strong mind, a strong mentality, a strong dick that you can utilize to shoot the right shit in the right frame and, of course, the right hole. We all got that strap. We all got that sh that sharp shooter mentality that we got to make sure that we use the shit to the right aim and the right perspective on how we can basically penetrate and orchestrate shit. Now, training your subconscious mind. See, you have to utilize all forms, all shapes, all objects in your surroundings. It don't matter what it is. It could be a, a pen, a calculator, or something that you basically utilize every day. For instance, if you're using a pen, then you know you got to utilize that pen as a bitch, a.k.a. whatever you pretty pretty much putting on that paper. That pen is going to take the shape and form, and it's going to basically bring things down to your life into a dense pattern. And, of course, having things written down means that you have a vision, you have a sight, you have a view. You have a clairvoyance perspective on how you want to basically bring that vision down here. So now, you already got the vision. Now you got to add a little bit more water to it. Get that vision moist. Get that vision wet so that vision can basically burn out a little bit. So once that vision get the spark and get the water, the flames, everything start accumulating. Things start getting a little bit of hot. Now once it start becoming steamy, they go that and now you can think about it. Now you can talk about it. Now you can communicate about it. And then when they get physical, now you can hold it. Now you can feel the physical perspectives and, of course, the materialism of the aspect. And that's how things pretty much start crystallizing, depending on how much time and energy you was basically given there. Now, the question is, where is your time? Where is your energy going towards to? Because you, to you have to be on the outside looking in can't always be inside and expect for the outside to look out all the time because you're trapped inside and you're not seeing everything on the higher totality. So if you're not pushing yourself up or moving forward out of a situation to see all angles and all spectrums and all speculations, then of course, things won't basically be spiraling in your favors. Things will be unspiraling, which means you're hiding something off. You have something hidden. And of course, when something is hidden, got to be brought to the light in some way, some shape, some form. So whatever you had hidden, whatever you was working on, these things will crystallize. These things will come into density, but depending on how much time and how much a percentage level you give an altar to that, you change things up, you switch things around. You make sure whatever you basically trying to focus on, you making sure that thing is being harnessed into your ship, not someone else's ship, not one else's, not someone else's sails. Because of course, you you always gotta remember that there's gonna be shit out here to take your mind off of things and make you feel useless due to certain things that's going on. But when you're subconsciously training your mind, and when you're getting into the behind the scenes aspects, these things are unseen. So. Basically, you are the possibility to make the unseen seen. So, when you're going in that unseen world, you have to have a broad imagination. Which means your imagination got to be free. Got to be free to basically be open to all possibilities for things to gravitate towards your mentality, your brain. And of course, this is what brings that spark. This is what brings that lightning. And you want that lightning. You want that spark. Because of course, when you got that lightning spark... These things start to make their way and swerve its way towards how you're going to construct and conduct the things into your perspectives. And of course, practicality, practice makes perfect. So if whatever you're trying to bring into existence, you do know you have to use all elements. You have to use that earth element. You have to put it in time. You have to put in the work. You got to put in the pain. And of course, it's always going to be a battle. It's always going to be a fight. But are you willing to basically go through the fight? Are you willing to basically pick up the brick? Are you willing to knock Debo at his big ass out? Or are you willing to get your ass beat and get knocked out like, your, like his father used to? And of course, this is where you get put into the test, put into the situations. How much can you contain? How much can you handle? Can you handle all the shit that you're basically trying to 
bring the unseen to the scene or bring what's hidden to the light because what's going on in the dark gonna always be brought into the light so if you go into dark times these shits will be brought into the light in some way and of course it's gonna be seen ain't nothing could be it's nothing hidden so whatever you basically got hidden these things are gonna be observed regardless of how you see the situation and seeing the situation with a clear eye view and a clear perspective is how you go about attacking and go about that way and of course there's many ways to get things flowing or get the juice going but you are the juice always remember that shit. you are the energy you are the spike and of course you have to play out the representations and be these things in order for you to basically contain things and of course maintain and bring things and of course bring structures to the shit. and that's how you're going to basically project the image on how you're basically trying to clear the outcome and bring the outcome into your favor. Everything will always work out into your favor. As long as you're making it happen. And of course, making shit happen is where it all starts. And everything starts with you. If your life ain't shit, you are the cause of that subconsciously. Subconsciously, your mind, your mentality, and the way you feel about things, your life is not fucking even. It's uneven. And of course, when things is uneven, that means you got an uneven mind, an uneven emotions uneven energy uneven spirit which means you're all over the fucking place you're flying around and of course you don't know how to basically ground yourself and ignite and of course build your way up to the rays of how you want it to be seen you're always going to be seen no matter what no matter if you're hiding from the public or if you're hiding behind the scenes you're always with somebody somebody always been there you're always going to attract how you feel you're always going to attract who you are but of course who you are is what truly determines how your subconscious is going to be flowing. Are you a weak spirit? Are you a strong spirit? And then, of course, do you have a weak subconscious or a strong subconscious? Now, having a weak subconscious means that you have a daycare. Kids is running all around the motherfucking place. Kids don't know how to act. Kids don't know how to basically be practical. Kids that just want to be fire, a.k.a. be passionate about certain things. But them passions is not... Mixing and mangling with the other elements. And if the other elements are in the pursuits, then the other elements are not in a situation of things coming together. You gotta come together to work together. Just like how fire, water, air, and earth works together. You gotta bring the element, you gotta bring the practicality, you gotta bring the shine, you gotta bring the light, you gotta bring the water. And of course, you gotta make sure these things come together. You gotta make sure these things take time to build and crystallize together. And of course, we all gonna shine together course this is how you rise up to the equation now so training your subconscious mind this is a never ending battle because life always exists energy can never be destroyed what's what is someone else's treasure will be somebody else's gain what else else somebody's shit is gonna be somebody else's gain so it's all about how you feel it's all about how you think it's all about how you vibrate it's all about how you go on these undercurrents in these waves and of course you're always gonna get hit with waves always gonna get hit with high waves low waves it don't matter how it plays you're gonna always be put to the test and of course depending on what wave you was in when your ass left this hemisphere and when your ass experienced certain shit these are the hemispheres these are the um di these are the directions and the angles that's gonna basically bring you a good life a treasure or a bad life for you surf searching for the treasure which means you know where you put the treasure at when your ass left this world. So your ass had to basically go out there and look for it so goddamn long. But if you knew yourself and binge yourself, you knew where to look. You knew where to start. But never get lost because every day is up hazel battle. And you got to always be ready. You got to always be prepared to shoot first and ask questions later. Which means take charge, take the gun, go ahead, make that move. Don't be beating around the bush, basically trying to get questions from every person, place, or thing, or every side. Because remember, not you is going to be the situation, but how you present yourself and how you go obtain about doing things in your own perspective, with, that's what truly matters the most. Seeing somebody else's point of view and references for your eyeballs don't really work in that favor. Remember, everybody's different. So you got to have a different perspective and a different outcast and a different cause on how you're going to basically penetrate the situation or shit. That's how you subconsciously, subconsciously control your fucking mind. What's on it?